Welcome to the Tesla Powerwall 3 Masterclass, brought to you by Penrith Solar Center. I'm Jake Warner, director of the Penrith Solar Center, and in this lesson, we're going to be talking about financial benefits and incentives of the Tesla Powerwall 3. Here's what we're going to cover. The battery rebate in New South Wales, the solar rebate or STC scheme, which is a federal government rebate for solar panels. Savings and return on investment of Powerwall 3. High volume, low price model of the Powerwall 3. Let's jump into it. The battery rebate in New South Wales. On November 1, 2024, the New South Wales State Government introduced the Peak Demand Reduction Scheme, or commonly known for solar installers as the Solar Battery Rebate. This is a rebate eligible for batteries, including the Tesla Powerwall 3, which will see you get an upfront discount of anywhere from around $1,600 all the way through to about $3,000 AUD off the upfront price of batteries. The savings, you'll save between $1,600 and $2,400 on the upfront cost of home batteries. You'll save an additional $250 to $400 for connecting your home battery to a VPP or virtual power plant. The eligibility criteria, if you have an existing battery, the PDRS battery rebate does not apply for additional batteries. The rebate will apply for new battery installations only. Solar and battery combination. Powerwall 3 has been announced as eligible for the new battery rebate in New South Wales. The customer will also be able to claim the STC rebate on solar panels. An additional pro tip on the solar battery rebate in New South Wales is that you must have solar power on your home in order to be eligible to claim the battery rebate for any battery. So you can have existing solar and be installing a retrofit battery or you can install solar and battery together. The solar panel rebate in Australia. What is the solar rebate? Its official name is the Small Scale Renewable Energy Scheme, known by installers as STCs. Who is eligible for the solar rebate? Australian residents who own their own home with or without a mortgage and install a new system by a Certified Solar Accreditation Australia installer. When does the government rebate end? The rebate is set to continue until 2030, with decreasing amounts each year. The government rebate was introduced in 2015 and reduces by approximately 1 15th every single year until 2030 when the federal government rebate will no longer be available. It can be renewed and it may be refreshed to help us achieve our net zero target by 2050. The savings and return on investment of the Powerwall 3. Unrivaled value. Powerwall 3 combined with solar delivers unmatched value by any of its competitors. Solar rebate supercharged by 200% oversizing rule. The government's contributions on Powerwall 3 and solar dramatically reduces your payback period. The more solar you add to Powerwall 3, the better it gets. And the reason for this is because STCs are now worth more than the actual cost of solar panels. So the more solar panels you install on your Powerwall 3, the more money the government will give you, which has already covered the cost of panels, and you can start contributing to other things like your racking, your Powerwall, and your installation costs. So the value for money dramatically gets better for the homeowner as the system size increases. The return on investment projections. Typical solar and battery return on investment is around seven years. With Powerwall 3, we're seeing early return on investment figures as low as five years. This is because of the value that Tesla have jam packed into Powerwall 3, particularly when it's coupled with solar. Repayments from $360 per month over five years. 
This makes cash flow positive solar and battery more accessible than ever before. Now that you know that we can do Powerwall 3 and solar from around $360 per month, if you're spending anywhere from $1,100 plus per quarter on electricity, it will actually cost you money to sit there and not install one of these bad boys on your home. Because of cash flow positive solar, this has made Powerwall 3 more accessible to mums and dads. At the time of filming this, interest rates are at an all-time high and it's only set to get better. So we're really confident that the monthly repayments on Powerwall 3 is never going to supersede or be more than $360 per month. High volume, low price. Tesla's high volume, low price model as successfully deployed across the Tesla Model 3 and Y. Tesla Powerwall 3 has now reached volume production that allows low prices and high volumes globally. Tesla did this in the early days with their Model S and Model X cars. They were very low volume vehicles and they cost $200,000 plus. It was their way of entering the market and establishing themselves, allowing them to build lines to create these incredible cars. They always had the vision that they would eventually have a $30,000 car. We are well on the way there with Model 3 and Model Y. You can now get from around $60,000 AUD in Australia. They've done exactly the same thing with Powerwall. Powerwall 1 was a very low volume model. In fact, there were only around 700 of them installed in Australia full stop, and they were very high cost. Powerwall 2 was slightly higher volume, let's call it medium volume for a medium cost. Powerwall 3 is now mass volume for the, one of the cheapest prices dollar per watt that you will find a battery in the Australian solar market. The inbuilt inverter. With the experience of millions of inverters in a global fleet of cars, Tesla arguably have more experience manufacturing reliable, cost-effective inverter technology than any other traditional solar inverter brand. Thank you for joining me with this lesson, which was financial benefits and incentives of the Powerwall 3. Join me for our next lesson as we dive into the installation of Tesla Powerwall 3.